Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about the delete request. We can delete a employee object by making a delete request. So in this video, we'll make a put request for updating the employee record. So I'll go to the DO implementation. We're not going to write any uh, separate method for update. We will make use of the same method. So what we can do is, what we will do is, uh, instead of save method, we will use save or update method so what it does it will check for the employee object id if the id is null or if the id is zero then it will save the employee object if the employee object contains the id then it will update the record because when we are creating employee object we will not pass the id so at the time we will get the id as zero or id as null then it will create an employee object but when we are updating of course we will pass the employee id so at that time it will check for the id if the id is not zero or null then it will update the record so that is the changes that we have to do that we wanted to do in the do implementation let's save this and i'll go to the controller class and i'll write a method public and this will return employee object i'm going to call this update i'm going to annotate this with a put mapping and the url would be slash employee and we need to accept the employee object so i'll make use of at request body employee and I'm going to call this employee object now inside this I'll make use of employee service dot save and we will pass the employee object before that what we can do is we can take if okay I think we don't need this uh, this is this this is enough and I'm going to return the employee object. Let's save this and I'll go to the okay. We need to run the application. You can see that the console the application is starting. Alright, the application has been started uh, in uh, H080. So I'll go to the postman. And uh, right now, we have only one record in the database. So what I need to do is I need to change the name of this person, uh, Bharat, to some Joseph. And um, uh, the Joseph is uh, department is a uh, development. Let's uh, change this. So I'm going to make a put request. And you can see that. Uh, I'm going to copy this and I'll go to the body and I'll change this to this and uh, I'm gonna change this to Joseph and uh, Joseph is in support not in development not in testing and now we need to make a put request in order to update this record so when i click the send button you can see that the record has been updated to joseph now let's verify this i'll go to the database and i'll rerun the query and you can see that the record has been updated joseph mail support 1988 okay let's go to the get request and when i click the send button you can see that we have this record which is Joseph and he is working in a support so this is how the update will work that's all about this video uh, thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video and one more thing before wrapping up this uh, video series I have already uh, shared this project with github if you go to my github account you can uh, 
github.com slash scbushan05 and I have already committed the project in a github you can go ahead and uh, fork it or you can download the project and uh, work on yourself so everything is ready so just to make sure if you are uh, looking for a source code then uh, you can find it here the link will be given in the description section uh, that's it for this video i will see you in the next video